Alright guys, we got this. Let's go gun and white trip speed. Close next go. On one, on one. Ready? Three. Three. What's up everybody, it's Spruce Goose here back with another video for the Huddle GG channel, and in today's video I want to talk about the short in elite ability, which I think is quickly becoming a must have ability in MUT and CFMs, and even if you play regs, I think it's really important to know about this ability, as well as all of the short, medium, and deep in and out abilities, because what I've discovered over the last couple weeks is that a lot of people don't really know how these abilities work, so hopefully we can clear that up in this video. Now, if it's your first time visiting the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button so you never miss an upload from the Huddle channel. And if you enjoy my breakdown, consider checking me out over on YouTube. I'm Spruce Goose TV on there, and I also stream three nights a week over at twitch.tv slash Spruce Goose TV, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So I am using the 49ers here in regs and practice mode, and they have George Kittle, who has the short and elite ability. And before I call play, I want to quickly read the description for the short and elite ability. And... Different parts of Madden have different descriptions for the ability, but the most detailed description I could find was in the roster management section of, uh, I guess, going to settings, going to edit team, edit player, and this was actually the most descriptive ability I could find, and it says, Receivers with this ability catch more consistently while catching passes less than 10 yards from the line of scrimmage inside the numbers. Now, even though that is the most uh, descriptive uh, explanation of that ability I could find it's not telling the whole story so let's go into practice mode I'm going to go into gun trips tight end I'm in the Las Vegas Raiders playbook and I'm going to call a, a very popular play I'm going to call curl flat and I'm just going to do random play on defense and let's first look at the description that EA gave us itself and then kind of talk about which part they left out so they said Again, receivers with this ability catch more consistently while catching passes less than 10 yards from the line of scrimmage inside the numbers. So that would seem to apply if I take George Kittle. He's at tight end right now, and I put him on an in route. Then uh, if, I, if I throw him the ball, then uh, he's going to catch it more consistently, less than 10 yards inside the numbers. Now, if you go back and watch that replay, though, guys, what you're going to see is that he lit up twice. You're going to have to go back and watch the replay because it won't show up on this replay. But when the icon below his player model lights up, an ability is activating. And it activated twice on this play. It activated once on this cut, because in this case he was in man coverage against that linebacker. And it activated a second time when he caught the ball. Now, the, according to the definition, it makes sense that it lit up when he caught the ball because he was catching a ball less than 10 yards from the last scrimmage inside the numbers. Makes sense. But what about on the cut? The cut has nothing to do with catching, and that's because EA has left out of these definitions that all of the short in, short out, medium in, medium out, deep in, deep out, all these abilities, they also include a route running component as well against man coverage to where if the cut of your route is happening inside the area that the ability affects, so in this case, a short route inside the numbers, if the cut of your route happens in that area, you will get what I would call glitchy route running. So if you remember the route tech ability, not very many people run it anymore, but on the route tech ability, you get you get quicker cuts and quicker animations on cuts against man coverage. And this is exactly the same thing as having route tech. And so right here, uh, if we didn't have short and elite, that linebacker would play us a little better. We really wouldn't get as much separation on him on this cut. And so that is the important component that EA is leaving out of these definitions. Now, I don't know if this is a man or zone. If it's zone, then of course, uh, on the break, there won't be a you know, glitchy component of the route running, but you will always get the glitchy catching. Now, here's where it gets interesting, is that I've been running in routes, and you say, okay, a short and elite running in routes, but remember, for the glitchy route running, I said, all that matters is where does the break happen? And so even if it is an outbreaking route, short in elite still activates as long as the break is within 10 yards of the last scrimmage and inside the numbers. So I'm going to go back to curl flat again, but I'm going to come out on defense this time uh, just in man coverage because I want to show you guys that the glitchy route running is going to apply on outbreaking routes, which is uh, really interesting because you would think you would think that on a smart routed tight end corner route, against man coverage, uh, you'd be like, well, that, that sounds like a short out elite, a, a medium out elite. That's an outbreaking route. Why would short in elite apply? 
And remember, it's where does the cut happen? And if you watch right here, you see him light up. If you saw him light up on the cut, that is short in elite activating. Now, George Kittle does have short out elite. So if you have any doubts about that, maybe that this was actually short out elite activating, not short in elite, I recommend uh, do this exact same setup, but with the Raiders, because Raiders uh, tight end Darren Waller has short out elite, but not short in elite. If you put him on a smart routed uh, tight end corner route, he will not light up on the cut. But if you guys can go back and watch the replay on this cut against the tight end, the icon below him, when we ran it the first time, it lights up and he gets a, what I would call the, the glitchy route running against this linebacker. And we end up being able to throw it over the top for a big game. So why is this so important? Well, first off, I, I just think it's important to let everyone know what these abilities actually do. And again, even on a short out route, Despite the name, just another example, on a short out route, short in elite is going to light up for us again. It, it did right there. Now, real quick, I'll say he caught the ball outside the numbers. That was short out elite activating on the catch. That was not short in elite. If you want him to be uh, getting glitchy catching animations outside the numbers, you need to be putting on a short out elite, mid out elite if you want to be beyond 10 yards, and so on. And so that's why I actually for a while was combining short in elite with mid out elite so that I would get the glitchy route running on the uh, cuts of my corner routes and then I would get the glitchy catching when I would throw it to my tight end and he'd almost always be 10 to 20 yards downfield outside the numbers when the ball would come in. But I, I think it's so important because man coverage has not gone away in Madden Ultimate Team. I run a lot of man coverage and it actually does really well. And when I go against man coverage... The short and elite ability is the easiest way for me to beat that man coverage because it essentially functions as a one AP route tech. Before the AP update, I was actually running three AP route tech on my tight end uh, for those exact situations of when people would run man coverage. And now I, it's like I can just spend one AP on George Kittle and get the exact same effect. Now, I will say that in Ultimate Team, different tight end archetypes uh, tight end, or short and elite will cost different amounts. So George Kittle in Ultimate Team is a possession type uh, tight end. And so he gets it for one AP. If you want to put on someone like Darren Waller, it is going to cost two AP. And so I would recommend getting a possession archetype tight end if you want to do this in Ultimate Team. But guys, again, it it is just, it is absolutely torching the man coverage. And now... One other really important point is you're saying, that's cool, but I have Matchup Nightmare, and Matchup Nightmare does the same thing. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that Matchup Nightmare only works against linebackers and sub-linebackers, which in this case uh, is what we've been showing the examples. But let's go call another play. Let's say you have an opponent, uh, especially you still see this sometimes. Now, one-step aheads are not very popular anymore, but you still see them sometimes. Someone running at least one one-step ahead and they will put it on the tight end. That's still a setup that people do, even though it's it's not as popular as it was before the AP update. So let's go to curl flat again, and let's go ahead and see if we've got... I don't have, um, like, a Mike Blitz zero, but I can call mid blitz right here. And in this case, against in, in mid blitz, a safety is going to be guarding the tight end, not a linebacker. So if you have matchup nightmare and someone runs... A cover zero look against you matchup nightmare is not going to do anything for you it's not going to get glitchy route running or glitchy catching against the safety because that's just not what the ability does but with short in elite against a safety and right there i mean it wasn't uh it wasn't the the best throw typically the defense is going to press down on that and uh the safety be further up and you you will get a little bit, a little bit better separation on them but if you guys saw we did get actually i'll, I'll just i'll just run it again watch kittle he is still lighting up, even though, even though this is, um, you know, it, it's against a safety. He is still lighting up on the route running, and that is not something that Matchup Nightmare will do for you. And this ability, again, in Mutt on George Kittle is a one AP ability, whereas Matchup Nightmare is a two AP ability. And so I just think that that's really important. He's actually he's actually making some glitchy catches as well. I'm not even sure why that is. It might just be because it's George Kittle and Regs. But the, the important thing to see here, guys, is that, the, that his icon is lighting up on the route and that this is short 
in Elite, causing us to light up with glitchy route running on outbreaking routes. And so I just I think that it's really important for you guys to understand this because the last couple of weeks in my Discord, on my Twitch stream, people have been asking me over and over, oh, you're using short in Elite? Like, you know, I heard it's glitchy, but how does it work? And a lot of people, you know, when we start talking about it, they say, oh, you'd want short out Elite. You would want short out Elite for, for these tight end corner routes. But you want short in Elite because for the glitchy route running, it's where does the cut happen? And the cut is happening less than 10 yards from the last scrimmage inside the numbers. And as long as it meets that criteria, he's going to light up. And hopefully you can And right there. Again, the, the safety is just a little too far off for it to apply in this case. Typically, they're going to be pressed up. But you guys can still see that it is lighting up. And that is going to get us some, some really glitchy uh, routes, especially against man coverage. And don't forget, if it is zone coverage, the catching still applies. Even if your opponent runs zone the entire game, the ability is still useful because inside the numbers, less than 10 yards, you get glitchy catching animations as well. So it's it's not like uh, a matchup nightmare where if there's no man coverage, it really might not activate at all a whole game. It still can provide some value even if your opponent's not in man coverage. So for one AP, I, I think it is one of the, I, I won't say one of the best abilities in the game, but probably a must-have. If you're passing the ball, I would definitely say it's a must-have. And so that is the short and elite ability. And of course, you know, you can apply the definition we just talked about to all the other abilities as well. So anything that is out, whether it's short out, medium out, or deep out, that is going to apply to any cuts or catches that occur outside the numbers. Short is 0 to 10 yards. Medium is 10 to 20 yards. Deep is 20 plus yards. And then the same thing with short in, medium in, and deep in. Where does the cut happen for the route running component? And then where does the catch happen for the glitchy catching component? Again, if it's in, it just has to be inside the numbers. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Hopefully you learned something because I really do think a lot of people don't fully understand those abilities. Hopefully this might clear up some confusion uh, and consider consider giving it a shot. I mean, if it's, it's one AP, it's not, it's not like it's going to uh, require you to completely change your entire offense. Uh, so for one AP, I would definitely recommend giving it a shot. Right now, I'm actually running both short in and medium in elite on George Kittle because some of the plays that I really like running, uh, they have pretty deep breaking post routes from the tight end. And so... You know, because those are breaking about 12 yards downfield, I need medium in elite in order for him to get really good separation on those routes. So consider at least running short in elite. You might want to stack short in elite with either a mid in elite or a mid out elite, depending on what routes you run. But I think these are really good routes that people should be more aware of. And one other thing I'll say is you can even put these abilities on your receivers. I'm, everyone probably knows that some people like putting deep out elite on their receivers. But on your slot receiver, you could put a short and elite for one AP on a slot receiver and get really great route running and catching out of the slot. And so mess around with it, try it out on some players, and I'd love to hear in the comments how it works for you guys. But I definitely think that you should be paying attention to all these abilities because they're very cheap and they can be extremely powerful, especially if someone's running man coverage against you, which has not completely gone away. It has not completely disappeared at least in my experience playing online, like some people might have thought. But anyway, guys, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to the Huddle channel if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check me out over on YouTube and Twitch, Spruce Goose TV. But with that, guys, I hope you have a great one, and we'll catch you in the next video.